Hey there everybody and welcome to today's episode of Yu-Gi-Oh! 2011. It's me, Cooper, and we are going to be going back to... Uh, I don't remember. <laughs> I'm like, wait, what was I doing today? My memory does not serve me. I have no idea, actually. Okay, so what did I do last time? I fought a bunch of people. Um, I beat up a store clerk. That mattered. I beat up a store clerk. So after beating up a store clerk, what did I learn? That is the real question. I mean, other than learning how to beat up a store clerk, which is always a good thing to learn. It's it's important. Do I talk to you? Let's see. It's really not looking great around here. This is the satellite I know. Hey, you. Just uh, give me a quick reminder. What did you tell me? Uh, Sid always seems to come uh, from the port. I was just there, wasn't I? Wasn't I not just there? Or do I have to, like, leave and then he'll appear? Okay, so we're going to go back to the ports, and then we're going to figure out if uh, that will activate a cutscene where I get to see his buddy Sid, the guy who gives him all the parts, which are definitely from dual runners that are already made, so that looks like a giant bridge. I'm not going on that. The port is more over here, right? This is... This is a port. Actually, this looks like a bridge, too. Where's the port? Okay, we'll cross the bridge. Maybe there's an area called the port. We don't know. Mm-hmm. Satellite port. There it is. Okay, there's just an area called the port. That works out. Well, good thing I used my powers of deduction, which was eliminate all other <laughs> options just to find this one. Um. Ooh, free stuff. What do we get? I would like something money-wise. Ooh, big money boost. Okay. You guys know I love a big money boost. Uh-oh. Today, oh, it's Ida. I remember you, Ida. Today we got two vehicles, simple as pie. One of them is X King's Dual Runner, so it should get a pretty good price from the hardcore fans. You know, nobody would even imagine that this ship is a hideout for thieves. Oh, am I gonna take down an entire ship? This is just like the anime. Who's there? You can hide, but I'll find you. So why don't you? Okay, I'll come on out. Hello, hello. My name's Cooper. You heard what we were saying, which means you're not getting out of here alive. Wait, uh, and yes, in the show, Jack actually, Atlas actually comes here alone, and it's actually a pretty funny episode, because he physically beats up a lot of people. Mm, well, whatever, it's a fair match, we're two on two. Looks like we get to do a little two on two action. I did just pick up some money, so I'm going to save. You know, Yeah, never know, maybe I suck at two on twos. Um, we do have a new deck today, at least as new as I can make it, so we'll see what happens. We're going to go ahead and tag duel. You, so you used to be the king. That doesn't mean anything to us. Even if you beg and cry, we won't go easy on you. Yeah, I don't understand why people don't respect a champion. Like, Jack is still a champion. And uh, that is something that should be honored. So we got Red Fiend's Roar versus Lucky Turtle. Oh, Lucky Turtle Shot. I knew it. I knew I remembered him for some reason. And Eda Dra uh, Dragon. So these guys are actually really good duelists. No, no offense to them. They actually are good. One of them is known for attack and one of them is known for defense. And they were annoying in the, uh, in the first game. However, I started with a great start, especially comboing with my buddy Jack. So what I could do is I could set these cherries, and if they die, I could use them to help Jack out. Because I'll get him a tuner monster, two tuner monsters, and then he could try to synchro summon. Seeing as he has a, he's probably going to have a 15 extra deck like me, uh, hopefully. So what are you going to do, buddy? Huh? 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 What are you going to do? I'm right here. I'm ready for him. Can't do a damn thing. All I could do is set. That's right. All you do is set. All right, so that's not good, but at least I left a tuner for Jack. Because now if the cherries get destroyed, we get nothing. So I'm guessing Ida was first, the turtle man. All right, so let's see if Jack has a monster that... Or you could use it for tribute if you really want to go for that dragon, but... You know, you don't have to. You could also just go for Luster Dragon and Synchro Sun. I can't believe he drew only monsters. Nope, he really wants that Strong Wind Dragon, which means I'm not going to get Cherry's effect, which is fine. I just thought he'd at least want a Synchro Summon. But this does piercing, so I don't blame him. Plus, Turtles have a lot of defense, so... Oh, nope, it was the Dragon deck, so he just decided not to go aggressive. Which means that after this turn is going to be the Stall turn, which is weird. So that Dragon it gets destroyed, he gets himself another one. Oh, look who also uses that combo. His name is Jack Atlas. Which means that this guy's pretty good if he's copying the king. A Dread Dragon. Not bad. Alright, so now that the king has lost a card, I don't think he actually cares that much. But let's see what uh, our buddy here plans on doing. Ooh, I'm a little bit worried. I, You know, I don't really know if the Turtle Man's going to use part of his strategy where he plays spells and traps that I hate. Because I even banned them from my own tournaments, except for one messenger of peace I gave to Mindy. Other than that, they're banned. So, looking at this, we got a lot of back row, making me wish I had Heavy Storm right now. Even though I don't think that's in the game. Uh, I do have some good cards here, like Caius, who can get rid of stuff. I got Old Vindictive, I got 
The, okay, I don't have Old Vindictive. I've lost that card, which honestly, it helps me that you did that in case I had Junk Synchron in my hand. I do not have Junk Synchron in my hand, but I do have Call of the Haunted. But I already lost my Tutor Monster. But I could Call the Haunted into Caius to get rid of these cards. Or just to get rid of this card. It's an uh, interesting idea. But I might want to save my Call of the Haunted for later. So I'm just going to summon Sangan in attack mode. That way, no matter what happens, I gain something. I'm going to say I have a Remove from Play card, but let's just pretend they won't. Alright, first attack goes through, going for piercing. This turtle is a very good one, damn. Alright, even though that's not one of the tanky turtles, it's one of the floater turtles, which will get them a new monster. And that new monster is a turtle, which I cannot defeat with Sangan or any cards in the grave currently. So, we're going to go to main phase 2. We're going to be a little uh, aggressive because we don't want them to synchro summon. We're going to activate Smashing Ground on UFO Turtle so they can't continue their nonsense. And then we're going to end our turn. Normally, I'd save the option of Smashing Ground, but because it's a tag duel and I may not get another turn if they get something crazy off like a Stardust Dragon. Who the hell knows? A lot of the random AIs I have fought have had Black Rose Dragons, so it wouldn't be so crazy for them to have Stardust. Jar of Greed is a really good card to give your friend. Yeah, and a tag duel Jar of Greed just being like, hey, here, this is for you. Take it. It's not bad. It's a nice play. But is it going to result in anything? I don't know. It doesn't look like much so far. I think I can handle that. Eh, okay. New trap card is always worrying. But we're doing piercing this entire time, so... I'm not going to use Call of the Haunted. That's Jack's choice if he wants to synchro with Call of the Haunted. MST, hit that new trap. Come on, AI brain. You can do it. You could do it. I believe in you. Okay. Maybe I shouldn't believe in you anymore. Well, maybe it's like a Nightmare Wheel and saving MST is better. I would say play your guy and get a level 5 drag. He probably doesn't have a level 5. Oh, he did play it. Wow. It just took him a little longer than it. And that's not the new trap. Damn it. We already knew those traps did nothing. Ah, this is the one you had to hit, dude. This is the one you had to hit. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Okay. Well, it's fine. This is the dragon guy, which means he doesn't have any defenses. It's probably the same dragon as last time. So just go. Yeah, just go aggressive. That's fine, too. Just go for beater monsters. Uh, that's why we MST that card. Granted, that cost them 2k, so actually... You know what? I'm not even mad, Jack. I mean, granted, three monsters better than two, but... At the end of the day, you did more damage than if you had, you know, left the monster on the field. Is it enough to end the duel? Yeah, probably. <laughs> okay, so Jack... It's somehow Jack's AI brain knew it was exactly solo morning, which would cost them more life points in the end. Um, obviously, I could not see that coming, because I don't have an AI brain. Uh, well, yep, it was the same monster as last time, which means we probably would have won with Sangan. But Call of the Haunted's always nice. So, we got a turn 7 victory. That's not bad. You can keep getting more Dread Dragons. They, uh, they don't help you in this situation. I'm just glad your decks aren't as busted as they were in 2009. In 2009, they were insane. I feel like one of those guys was a deck out deck. It was super annoying. Or at least a stall deck. So, let's see what we got. Lots of Duelist bonus on that card. Wow, we have a lot of money. We haven't been able to go shopping lately, have we? I don't think we have. So, we're going to go ahead and put no on that. And then we're going to see what they have to say. There's nothing about this king. He's still just as strong. Quick, let's get out of here. Yeah, you better get out of here. I'm going to hurt you. <laughs> hey, don't leave me behind. Yeah, you better not leave your friend behind because I'm going to hurt you too. All right, Jack, don't go off without me. Oh, my God. All right, Jack finds... Uh, I'm not going to scare that easily. I don't care if I'm a coward. Winning is what matters. You're getting better at this whole villain thing, aren't you? What? Who said that? Oh, it's the boss from the actual show. Okay. Hurry up and give that ex-king his last rights. I've chosen this little fish for myself. Hey, don't be afraid. I am a little afraid. I'm going to go save. Haha. -ha! Sorry, Jack. It's up to you. <laughs> Just leave him to die. All right, Jack. I'm sorry. It has to be done. Actually, no. I'm coming back. I saved the game. I could take these small fry. No, I want it's not you, Jack. I want to talk to this thing. Ah, damn it. All right. Well, Sid, let's see what you got. I'm willing to duel you. So I'm going to be doing this guy, which I believe does duel Jack in the show. I can't remember exactly what his deck was. It's been a little too long since I've seen the show. Breaking Wheel. Oh, of course, this deck would be called Breaking Wheel instead of Breaking Bad. All right. Oh, yeah. My new deck is called B-Dragon. Um, obviously, I didn't get to show off my deck that much, but it's called B-Dragon just because... Uh, well, you'll see eventually. Well, I got a bunch of stuff that doesn't, you know, work with the deck, but that's fine. Ooh, Cyber Dragon. That's a hell of a draw. Gonna activate reinforcements of the army. The only reason I keep this card is because Junk, yeah, Junk Synchron and Armageddon Knight. Yeah, that's true. Uh, I might start to duel with Armageddon Knight, actually. Yeah. Even though Nacheria Cherries might be better, I might do this instead. I just kind of want to 
Uh, I don't have to do him first. I could get him on the next turn after Cherry summons two more cherries. I'm glad I got to go first because not only do I have Cyber Dragon in case things go wrong, I have seven tools, which seven tools just feels so good. You know, unless my opponent gets an MST on the first turn, but what are the odds of that? That's not happening. All right, Green Gadget. Oh, oh, I didn't realize you were a good deck. Okay, you run Ultimate Offering with that deck? Ooh, got a problem here. All right, you're going to go in and destroy my Nacheria Cherries. That's always fun. Nacheria Cherries will die, and that means that I get two more, which means I get to Synchro Summon next turn. I can either Tribute Summon Synchro, which is a bad play, or I can just go for Armageddon Knight and get cards in the grave like I actually wanted to do. Yeah. Plus, if I use Armageddon Knight, I get to show off my deck. One trap doesn't matter to me. I'm liking this. I'm liking this a lot. So we're going to go ahead and do a little... Uh, ooh... We're going to do a little bit of Synchro Summoning. Um, what is in my hand right now? A bunch of Spellcasters and a Machine. The only reason I kept those Spellcasters is because they're actually good. Uh, Geico's a good beater, but he's also a Dark Monster. This deck is mostly a Dark deck. So I have Caius in this deck, as you saw earlier. I have Krebon Still. Um, I have Dark Nuflefla. If this card is in your hand, there's a three or more Dark Monsters on your gra in your graveyard. You could do this. I got Red Eyes in the deck, which is the card that matters. I got Plague Spreader. There we go. All right, now I just activate this card's effect, and Plague Spreader is gonna be like, "Hey, what are we doing here? We're we're winning duels. That's what we're doing." Uh, you could take back my uh, Geico. I don't need it right now. Plague Spreader is a little bit better, so we're gonna get Plague Spreader onto the field. Plague Spreader is a scary card, and then we're gonna do a little Synchro Summoning of. Uh, let's see, which one do I want? Iron Chain Dragon wouldn't be that bad, actually. Would not be that bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just because it makes my opponent deck out, and that uh, could help out with a gadget deck. You don't want them to have more gadgets to search for. Flameville could get stronger and do piercing, though, but I could summon that at any time. Let's go with this guy. So, sorry about this plague spreader. I'm going to need you to get out of here. And then we're going to summon Iron Chain Dragon. Now, Iron Chain Dragon is a pretty powerful monster for what it is. And we're going to go in, and we're going to destroy Green Gadget. So Green Gadget is going to bite the die. I can't believe that. Okay. Well, that's problematic. Not the most problematic card in the world. I know my defense lo looks a little low, but that's okay. Main phase two, there's always a way out of situations like this, and that's called flipping your cherry. And after you flip your cherry, you special summon. After you special summon, you get black... No, you get... Well, you get Black Rose Dragon, but for a reason. I'll show you the reason soon. All right, we got Black Rose Dragon on the field. Now I know this guy could put me in defense, um, which is a little scary. But what scares me more is stuff like Lightning Vortex. Uh, no, but I don't think I want to blow up the whole field, but thank you for the option. Uh, Nacheria Cherries, we're going to go ahead and flip you. We're going to Synchro again, just putting this card in the grave for later. I could go all damage. I could go for Stardust. I'm going for Stardust, obviously, because Red Dragon Archeam will die. Uh, I've, re I've remembered his effect now. So Stardust Dragon has the safety built in. I'm just going to assume this guy can't summon a 2600 attack point monster. Even if he does, I have Solemn Judgment. So, and, oh, but every time I Solemn Judgment, they monster are born. It's like programmed in their AI. I don't know how they do it, but they do it. So we got to be careful. So I got Stardust Dragon since my Iron Chain plan did fail. Let's see what this guy plans on doing now. He's going to summon our gadget face up just to get the more cards in his hand. Or is he going to do something else? In my opinion, it wouldn't be a bad idea to just put more cards in your hand. When you have this much of a life point, uh... Yeah, I mean, you have full life points. You could pay for it. Nope. Alright, doesn't feel like paying for it. But he will pay a price one way or the other. So let's see what he ends up doing. He's just gonna play defense. I have Breaker. I got Geico, so it's fine. We're gonna go ahead and summon... I would say between these two, I want to save Breaker for an emergency... No. Yeah, no. I'm going to summon break Breaker, because I don't want him to get hit by Soul. Oh, wait, do I have Stardust? Hmm. It doesn't matter. I just like having Breaker. So Breaker is going to wait. No, Breaker is going to break Green Gadget. We're going to assume the other one is also a Gadget. And then we're going to bring our opponent down to no monsters. And then he'll summon Cyber Dragon, summon a Tuner Monster. He has nothing. Oh, he's a giant germer. There's the burn. Okay. So yeah, this guy is going to be annoying, because now he can get out a level 8 or 7 or 8 monster. Or higher, but most people don't run higher monsters, because most higher monsters are special in some way. Alright, let's see. Well, I could stop any summon. I got Solemn Judgment. I just gotta be a little careful. A little bit careful. Let's see what he ends up doing. 
Plus, everything he's been using so far is like dark, so I gotta be careful about that too. You never know if he's another dark arm dragon user, which Geico can help me with that if he doesn't summon another monster. As long as he doesn't summon another monster, or if I draw like Big Bang Shot. Oh, Green Gadget. Hello there. Uh, I'm gonna let you keep that Green Gadget. I don't. Pe I don't feel like paying four thousand life points for you to Monster Reborn. I know he's gonna do it too. That's why I'm not. Uh... Unless is there another card he's trying to activate? Because. Uh... Hmm. Nope. Okay. Nope. He did what I do I told him to do earlier, but he had a giant germ waiting, so that was smart of him. Uh, seven tools can deal with that trap, but if it's another spell card, that would be annoying, like Shrink. I could be getting baited by Shrink, honestly. And, uh, spell, quick play spells are my weakness. I don't really have stuff to stop that. So at the end of the day, I will use Breaker's Effect. I don't need all 1900 attack. We're gonna just break that. There we go, and whoa, 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 whoa! Okay, what kind of traps are you running where you don't want your traps to be destroyed? Now I'm scared. Now I'm actually intimidated by this man. So I'm going to go ahead. We're going to start breaking him. Normally I go for maximum damage with Stardust, but instead I'm going to go with Geico to start throwing some of these germs away. Because uh, I don't want the germs to ever get their effects off again. So Stardust, why don't you join in on the fun? Get rid of that germ. And then Geico, get rid of some of these germs. I just don't want him to have four uh, dark monsters in the grave. I'm sure he doesn't have Dark Arm Dragon. I'm sure. But I have cards like that in my deck, so I don't want to deal with it. So let's get rid of 400 damage. Not bad. And then after 400, we activate our effect. Nice and easy. Our effect gets rid of you and you. <laughs> I don't want to deal with you. Granted, getting rid of a gadget's good too, but he's almost out of red gadgets in his deck anyway, so I don't care if he revives a green one. And then on main phase two, I'm pretty sure Heavy Storm is banned, so I can just put this down. Yay, I got traps for every situation. I got traps for summoning, traps for effects, traps for traps, and then traps for attacks. I got everything I could possibly need. And a Stardust, which stops destruction, so. I don't think I can lose this duel against Sid. I think Sid's about to bite the dust. And Red Gadget is his choice. I could pay the 4k just to be funny. But comedy has cost me in the past. Well, it's not 4K, but you know what? Comedy's not going to cost me this time. I'm doing it. What are the odds that this costs me the duel? I don't know how it would cost me. Yeah, it's not like he has Monster Born every time I sold him Judgment. Shit. <laughs> I need to draw Apprentice Magician, and I need him now. All right. Well, should have saved that. Oh. Oh, I had got my Protag powers back. Oh, my God. I haven't seen... It's like if I know what card I need, I can actually draw it. Holy crap. Everyone, welcome to my world. This is Cooper's world where he actually gets everything he could possibly want exactly when he wants it, even after making bad plays. So let's go ahead and just attack for game. Stardust Dragon, get in there. You have to admit that was kind of cool. You have to admit the fact that I've done this multiple times. Like one of these days, you're going to believe I'm a freaking, I'm a freaking psychic or something. One of those psychos. Crazy people. Alright, we're going to go ahead and get rid of the last germ in there, and we'll get rid of red gadgets. Like I said, he can keep the green ones. I don't care. And if he attacks me, my magic cylinder will win me the duel, so that's always fun. Yep, I forgot I haven't even damaged the man yet, really, so I, I can't win this turn, but I basically I'm going to win. Oh, that was funny. That was actually funny. You, you can't even be mad at me. You have to be like, damn, he's that good. He knows exactly what he's going to draw. All right, Apprentice Magician, great job working together with Breaker like that. Now, let's see if uh, this guy's got any other plans for us. I still have a Trap Stopper, so that's good. But he's only been using spells, no traps, except a trap to protect traps, which means he has a trap he wants to use. He just hasn't used it. And I have Magic Cylinder in case he goes after Apprentice with one of his gadgets, which I would prefer that. Because then I finally get to use my Magic Cylinder. Damn. Oh, can't get two swords, so I'm going to assume I'm fine now. Okay, one trap is no problem for me. There we go. Like I said, unless that's a quick play spell that can stop four attacks, I think I'm good. Junk Synchron, is there any piercing damage monsters we can search? I don't think so. But there is one that does burn. Hmm. Yeah, let's summon Junk Synchron. I know I didn't have to and I already won the duel, but let's be a little brutal here. Uh, burn, mo oh, I also can Mistworm. I didn't even think about that. Burn monster would be Lightning Warrior, right? 
Uh, when this card destroys opponent's monster by battle, yep, that's all we need. Junk Synchron, and let's go with, uh, well, Breaker might come in handy later, so we'll go with Geico, who's already used up his uh, usefulness. And Lightning Warrior shall join the field. And now I have a monster that stops, uh, oh, wait, is he going to try and activate a trap? No. I have a monster that stops destruction, and I have a trap that stops traps. So what could he possibly have? Lightning Warrior goes in for the burn damage. Better not be another quick play spell. You run Imperial Order for crying out loud. And then we get to do a little bit of burn. I don't think it's that much, despite being level 7. And it's only 900, but it puts him at a point where Apprentice wins with exact life points. And that's exactly what we wanted. Yeah! We beat Sid, everybody. Boss battle, done. Alright. Useless. Your deck is useless. So I made a lot of... Sid was worth a lot of money. And remove from play bonus. Yay. Yeah, we made a lot of money. Okay, well, I'm not, not going to save that replay. Despite it being a cool duel, don't get me wrong. You can watch it on YouTube. I don't need to save the replay. I must have let my guard down thinking you're some little fish. But this is in the end for me. Alright. Oh, you'll make a fine adversary. I already kicked your ass earlier in this series. What? You defeated them? Those losers are the real small fish. That just makes you the king of small fish. You're finished. What an outrageous thing to say. If I was talking this seriously, you two would be... Stop with the useless resistance. You're completely surrounded. Hey, the cops here? The one time I'm happy to see Trudge. All right, Trudge is here. There's nowhere to run. Are you still going to try, uh, uh, try leader of the dual runner thieves? There's no chance to win, huh? No other choice. Oh, you're going to give up peacefully? No, I'm running. <laughs> and yeah, the ocean is probably safer than jail. Get in there. And I forgot that I can't swim. Oh, never mind. It's not safer if you can't. You should learn how to swim. Kids learn. Oh, that's funny. His model just slides back. That's great. Thank you very much, Mr. Atlas. And you too, Cooper. I did most of the work. How would you like to join the securities? We could use people with your potential. Obviously, no. What? Me join the securities? Hey, that's not a bad idea. How about the vice chief of special investigations? M Mina, that's my position. And that's true. Then Trudge, uh, you're demoted. <laughs> I love that. Oh, oh, that's great. Forget it. I've got the WD or uh, WRGP to deal with. I've got no interest in security. I see. Yeah, good luck on that. I'll have dual runners sent to the garage later. We have to get going now. All right, make sure Toru gets his dual runner back. It's been a while, but you still have some... Uh, wait, but you still fight a good dual, Cooper. You're entering the WRGP too, right? It'll be a fun competition. It should be fun, Jack. I can't wait to duel. What the hell? I teleported. I'm just relieved my dual runner came back in one piece. Thank you both. Oh, um, it was nothing. We're friends. Yeah. Yeah, I'd help you guys if you ever needed it to. Hey, didn't Jack fight at this port? Uh, help fight at the port? I should go thank him. That's nice of Toru. It's good the dual runner wasn't damaged, but a lot of dual runners were taken apart and their parts were sold. It's infuriating. I would be upset too. Oh shit, what's up, Akiza? Hello. Welcome. Will you uh, run dual runner practice with me? It's better practice than doing it by myself. I'd like to, but I can't. The new dual runner program needs to be tested. You want to get it all done at once. I get it. If you finish it uh, first, practice is more effective. But I still need time. It's not going well. Oh yeah, you say Seb Bruno knows a lot about dual runners. I saw them together doing something back in the garage earlier. Yeah, you say and Bruno practically uh, do nothing but talk about dual runners lately. Bruno. I'd like an opinion, Cooper. Could you bring him here? I'll get ready. Oh, okay. I was curious because Bruno, we seem to have our own Bruno and it's you. You seem to be our Bruno, uh, Masaki. So go get Bruno. He should be in Yusei's garage. Well, I'll go do that, but I'll do that later. Right now I need to go save the game and maybe even buy some new cards since we haven't bought cards in forever. I'm rich. I am literally rich because we aren't buying cards. So let's go buy some cards. Um, oh, and save the game. I'll save after I buy cards. Let's see what we get. We have some great cards here. We better have some great cards here. Do we have anything new? Damn. Nothing new, huh? Well, I still want... I already pulled Black Rose Dread. I'll still get two of these. You know what? No. I don't care. I don't care if I pull Black Rose. Give me more. Um, Let's see here. Cards I actually want. Uh, let's go old school. Let's get, let's get these packs. These packs have a lot of the classics in them. Plus, I still want to get my clown deck together. I just haven't pulled any clown other than one crass clown. Which is a little disappointing, if, I, if I'm being honest with you all. I'm a disappointed. And then final pack I'll buy... I guess this pack, the Ouroboros one. Or not Ouroboros, the freaking U-Bell pack. Alright, so let's go ahead and see what we get. Uh, Masaki, I did say I wanted classics. Elgin Egotist, actually a good pool. St. Joan, cool monster. Toon Summon Skull, could be useful, depending on the deck. 
Mystic Plasma Zone could be useful in this current deck, actually. Uh, Masaki again. I don't know how I pulled two. Hayabusa Knight. Actually a good card. All right. Skull Servant. Good in certain decks. Uh, no. No. Hey! Guy the Dragon Champion. There's an old favorite of mine. I love Gaia decks. I used one in Master Duel. Rush Recklessly. Actually a good card. There we go. Summon Skull! That's what I'm talking about! Alright, with Summon Skull, I can now fuse with Red Eyes to make Black Skull Dragon. Which would actually make my deck weaker, but I might do it anyway. Oh, that's a, that's very... That's, that's exciting as hell. Alright, well, we got Book of Moon. That's always fun. Book of Moon's a great card. Book of Life for Zombie decks is really good. Patricia of Darkness has a use. Exile Force is really good. Um, Injection Fairy Lily! That's also really good. We got pool, really good pools so far. Um, Bladefly for Windex, I guess. No, that card's useless. That card's useless. Creature Swap. Yeah, I already have a million, but it's fine. It would have been good if I didn't. Fusion Sage? Might come in handy recently. Dice Jar! Funny card. Um, Rui Senshi. Okay. Only one character uses this card in my, uh, AI duels, and his name is Garimo. I just gave it to him, because, you know what? It works sometimes. Um, uh, alright. Reckless Attack. Yeah. Big bang shot. But yeah, this uh, final attack order is pretty good. Regeki Break, I already got a million of those. Uh, Despair from the Dark's not a bad zombie monster. If you just want Beater. Reflect Bounder. That's a really good monster. That's a machine deck right there. Anti, good for high level decks. Um, or not. If It actually works in discard decks if you're willing to pay a thousand life points to discard a card. And look at your opponent's hand. Or one card in your opponent's hand. Luster Dragon. Breaker again. I, if that card's not limited, it might be worth putting two in my deck. So Breaker's pretty good. Luster Dragon's pretty good too. Uh, Amazonas card. Okay. Z Metal Tank. Okay. Building that XYZ Dragon Cannon. Here emerges is fun. Big Koala. There's a monster. Oh, wow. With that card. Okay. These cards go well together. Get yourself a Big Koala with 4,700 attack. Mmm, mmm, that's pretty good. Manju, mmm, Manju's really good. That's a really good pull right there. I pulled a Manju. Oh, God. I'm, I'm starting to consider using decks of ritual base. Okay. Let's see here. We got an agent card. No, thank you. Hyper Hammerhead again. You know I love that card. That's a great... I know I already used a dino deck, but screw you. Maybe I'll make two. You can't stop me. Zero gravity for my clown deck. There we go. Uh, Giga Gaga Gigo, good for a Legendary Ocean deck. Burst Stream of Destruction, good for Blue Eyes. Don't really need it, though. Uh, more Giga Gaga Gigo. Sylphie, good for a Wind deck. Inferno, good for a Fire deck. Salt, but great for a Zombie Stall deck. And then we got uh, that card, which is a Burn card. Doomsday, no. Atlantia Pikeman, good for a certain deck I run. Uh, let's see. That card, I don't care about the fusions. They're very gross. Neospatians aren't that great. Even though I did buff Jaden's Neos deck for AI tournaments. It does perform better, but it's still not good enough. The Dark Creator could work in my current deck. This card can only be special summoned by having five or more Dark Monsters in your graveyard. But I also have to control no monsters. But once per turn, you can remove from play one Dark Monster from your graveyard. Oh, that's pretty good. Alright, I'll have to consider it. Um, Archfiend card. Ooh, that girl's good too, actually. That girl is good, too. I forgot about the Shadow Priestess for my Dark deck. That would have been smart. Uh, let's see what I can get from the Stardust pack. I bought a lot of packs today. I'm very happy about that. Mind Protector, no. Twin Marauder, no. Thought Ruler Archfiend. That's a really good Synchro monster. It has built-in protection as well for targets. Not as good as Stardust in that case, but it heals you, and it has more damage than Stardust. So, And it's Psychic. And Dark Resonator. That's also a good pull. All right. So far, so good. I'm liking my pulls. Oh, Whitestone of Legend. That's good for a Blue Eyes deck. Have I pulled a Blue Eyes? I might have pulled one. Maybe. Kind of hoping to pull some plant monsters from this. Like Sinister Seed. That's not bad. That's not the worst. Um, Iron Chain Cards too. If I want to make a Chief Armstrong deck, it's kind of fun. Eh, no, thank you. Not really what I want. Miracle Fertilizer was a good pull from that. Let's see what else. I'm trying to look for plant monsters. Iron Chain, Burn. Oh, there's one. Cursed Fig. Not really one I like, but it's there. And this might be the second to last pack, or the last pack. Polydosis, Turbo Synchro, another Sinister Seed. What the hell is that card? I don't know that trap. What is it? 
Activate only during a turn which you destroyed a defense position monster your opponent controls. Select one level 8 monster you control during this turn. The select monster can attack twice. Oh! Really uh, specific. Last pack of the day. Alright, let's see what we got. World Tree is good for a plant deck. Another white stone. Okay. <laughs> not really pulling any plants though. That's something I'm not uh, okay with. Paralyzing Chain. When a card is sent from your opponent's deck to the graveyard, uh, play 300 burns to your opponent. Oh, cool. I can give that to my chain deck. So, that's going to be it for this one, guys. I want to thank you all for watching. Next episode, we're probably going to go check on Yusei Fudo to see if uh, him and his friends, are, and Bruno, of course, to see if him and his friends uh, want a duel. Oh, also to help Misaki, but screw that. Either way, please remember to like and subscribe. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.